Hello everyone, this is Intro to DeFi and in this video we're gonna talk about the whole Phantom DeFi ecosystem and the strategies I would do if I had $1,000, $10,000 and $100,000. So let's start. We'll start with the AMMs, the decentralized exchanges in Phantom DeFi ecosystem. SpookySwap, SwissSwap, Bitone, X and Liquid Driver. Then we'll talk about the zoo trade. So, if I had one thousand dollars, I would probably be willing to take more risks because you know ten percent of one thousand dollars will get me to one thousand and one hundred dollars. So it's it's not that bad, but it's not like life changing money either. So I would be willing to take more risks to, and put my tokens probably in the pool tools like FDM Boo because if Boo price appreciates and if FDM price appreciates my liquid pool price will appreciate as well and the APR is not that bad 53% APR is good or I can go to Spirit Swap to provide in FDM Spirit or I would like go to Boosted Farms and Spirit FDM LP. The APR is 35% or I would buy some Boo tokens, Spirit tokens or other tokens to expose myself to high risk, high reward place. And these are not financial advices these are just my thoughts and it's for entertainment purposes so don't forget that and DeFi is an innovative place and uh, a lot of things can happen to the protocol one hacker can get your monies or you can get rugged by some protocols so play at your own risk and don't blame others for losing money because you will not you will not blame others if you earn some money so again let's continue i would go to pool tools if i had 1000 but if i had 10000 or 10 or 100000 dollars i would probably go to safer farms for like usdc fdm the stable coin fdm pools or maybe Bitcoin Ethereum pool for 13% APR because these are less risky pools and once you decide on the pool you like you can go to different places to find the best APR for you for example let's say we are we decided that we want to provide liquidity to usdc fdm pool and we want to choose where to put our liquidity so in spooky swap there's 71.5 percent apr and in spirit swap let's see we have 38.1 apr and in bitone x we have 52 percent apr and generally the best APRs in Liquid Driver. So let's see where is the FDM USDC. You can see if you calculate it, you have 93% APR or, and here you have 107% APR. So I will put my USDC FDM liquidity to spooky swap then put it into the liquid driver to farm LQDR and you can watch the liquid driver finance video of mine to learn how to do it generally the best APRs is here but you can still find the best pool for yourself and in Bitone X the pools are not generally like 50 50 pools but they're different pools for example if we go to magic touch by daniela 
pool, you can see you put 15% FTM, 30% spell, 50% mim, etc. etc. You will be exposed to all of the token in this pool and it will automatically root your uh, root the best token swap for you if you want to swap tokens in here so you can use btoken swap btoken x as well and if you want to swap tokens you can come to trade.zucoin cash it's an dex decentralized exchange aggregator let's say we want to buy let's say we want to buy ice something's happening to to the protocol let me refresh the website all right i'll pass the zucoin but it was an dex aggregator but it's not working at the moment for some reason i don't know so let's pass that so we are at the curve finance the curve finance is generally for ten thousand dollars to like one hundred thousand dollar range or if you have one million dollars you can use curve finance too it's its pools has generally low apr but it's very low risk like for example you can you can get 16 17 percent on your stable coins and without without almost risk with almost no risk and generally tarot which i will show you has better aprs than curve but curve has a very good history so this protocol hasn't been hacked or hasn't been exploited so it is very 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 safe so you can think about that and if you have like one hundred thousand dollars in one year you can get sixteen thousand dollars with almost no risk but if you have one thousand dollars like sixteen percent probably wouldn't be enough for you so you can think about that and tomb finance i think you know my feelings about tomb finance if you are in the telegram or if you have talked to me before i i'm not a fan of the protocol it was bought and led by harry uh, like one or two months ago and it's it restored its pack to one FTM, but still there has been no change to the protocol and it's complicated Ponzi scheme that wants to print money. So I would strongly suggest against going into Tomb Finance. But if you want to gamble with your money and if you want to hunt 1000 3000 APRs this is the place for you but in my opinion this protocol will fail the question is when so it's your choice to play with the money of your own so the next stops are popsicle finance and abracadabra money the daniele sesta projects I am very big fan of Popsicle Finance. It is liquidity optimizer. It will be liquidity optimizer in multi-chain. It will put your LPs to best farms like what we did in Spooky Spirit, Bitonex and Liquid Driver. It will do it automatically, but not just on Phantom. Let's say there's a better farm on Avalanche, on Trader Joe. It will take your LP tokens from spooky swap to put them into the trader joe firms to make you earn more money and cut some of the money to ice holders ice stakers and in ice fdm pools 
the you can see the APR is very good. You can stake your sushi swap or spooky swap ice FTM LP tokens into the popsicle finance to earn 113% rate plus trading fees. These are not calculating the trading fees. Trading fees are very good too. So you will earn probably around 130 to 40% if you stake ISFTM pool to Popsicle Finance and Abracadabra Money. Abracadabra Money is for leveraging your positions or to earn spell on stable coins. So it has a stable coin called Magic Internet Money, MIM. And if you go to MIM to pull on Curve Finance and put FUSDT, USDC or MIM here, you will earn 20%, 20.5% APR on spell. So it's good on stablecoin but again probably tarot has better rates than abracadabra money but if you want to leverage yourself on fdm positions you can come and put fdm as collateral to borrow meme to buy more fdm or more uh, any other tokens or you can i had a video about meme and you can buy french fries or a new car without spending your FTM but don't forget that you can get liquidated so this will be a play for either $1,000 range to leverage your FTM position to uh, to earn more money when price of FTM appreciates but it is very risky don't forget that or it's a play for like let's say we have $100,000 of worth of FTM but we don't want to spend FTM because we think that FTM price will appreciate even more so we just put our FTM as collateral to borrow MIM to spend MIM you know spend MIM on daily daily life to let's say we change our MIM to FTM and swap it in Binance and we get something in real life without spending our real FTM exposure. So I had a video about Avrakadarma money if you want to learn more about it. But you can you can leverage your positions on Avrakadarma money. And the next up is landing protocols, Scream, Geist and Taro. Generally Taro has the best APRs because it has it is enable it enables the leverage farm farmers to borrow your money and you will earn pretty high interest on them but let's see the markets on scream for example you can earn one percent APY on FTM it's pretty low but you can fault if you watch my folding videos you can learn how to fold it because it has 5% scream rewards but 2% borrow APY so you can supply borrow supply borrow supply borrow supply borrow with the same FTM stack you have or you can land your let's say FUSDT for 20% it's pretty good or yeah that that's the best place or you can supply USDC for around 21% and the Geist is the same protocol that it's landing again and it has pretty good APRs too but these landing protocols are generally for higher wealth positions because like 20% of your $1,000 is $200 again it's almost risk-free almost guarantee money if there is no, not exploit or hack in the protocol but it's also very low reward for example 6% of your 
FUSDT will get you almost nowhere if you have $1,000. But if we are talking about $1 million, it's all changed. And Taro is a very good place for landing. If you have lower wealth, like $1,000, you can you can think about leverage farming in Taro because the leveraged LPAPRs is good, but don't forget that you will be exposed to liquidation again. I also had a video about Taro, so you can watch it if you want to learn more about Taro, but this is the best place for landing generally. For example, if we want to land FUSDT, we can find the best place for it. This says 31%, this says 30, 32.6, 25 and 31 so we are going with that we are going to land our FUSDT in FUSDT spell leverage farming pool so we click on that and if we go to land and supply here when I press it I don't have FUSDT in this world so it won't show me the thing but if you supply here you will be exposed to 32.6% supply APR on FUSDT. So this is very, very, very good if you have more wealth, like $10,000, $100,000. So you can think about landing on Taro. And lastly, the Apex. The Apex is Yarn's playground. And Yarn is, you know, in phantom so you can if you trust yarn you can trust apex as well this pool is one of my favorite pools it has 85.5 percent apr on phantom on fdm and in this pool there are seven different strategies optimized by smart contracts which are developed by yarn developers these strategies include like the best taro landing pool and like joint provider of FTM Wi-Fi or FTM MIM. I had a video about Apex, so you can go and check it out. It was old, but the strategies are almost work the same. You can learn about joint protocol, joint uh, strategies, and. Uh, there are three different lander yield optimizers which will find you the best landing pools for FTM and land your FTM on there. So you can you can put your FTM here and just do nothing. Let the smart contracts and yarn developers take the care for you. And to summarize, if you have one thousand dollars i would go for higher risk higher reward place for example you can go to beethoven x and put your lp to maybe you know magic touch by daniela or phantom conservatory of music don't forget that this will give very good aprs but these are very risky pools or i would find a project that is new and if i trust the developers if i trust the project and if i trust the use case i would go you know maybe all in on that protocol but if i have ten thousand one hundred thousand one million dollars i will go for low to medium risk pools to at least make myself comfortable at night to sleep well because sometimes it's hard to sleep when you ape to the protocols uh, i remember so many nights without sleep so think about that but when your wealth is going up the risks you should take probably go lower like you can't risk 10 million dollars into the let's say totem swap protocol because it's very risky to do that but you can you can risk maybe 
$100 if you have $1,000 into that protocol because if it if if all goes well it will appreciate too much and you can like take 10x 20x maybe 100x profits of that so but if i had like let's say one hundred thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars i i cannot afford to lose it all in one protocol so i will take low risks but besides all of that the best advice i can give you is probably be a part of the community learn about your protocol learn what the use case is and talk to the developers to like ask questions to people about the protocol you want to invest because in my in my point of view the tokens are like stocks but there's no company the company is the community like when you buy a token and if you like market it if you work for it if you work for the protocol to be better no matter what the price will appreciate because the product is going better and it is marketed better so people will appreciate your work and if the use case is there as well it it will blow up like go to discords go to telegram groups ask developer questions try to try to make the community and the protocol better because trust me it will it will be very good for your investments as well and it's it's really better than like blindly investing into some protocol and like watching charts four hours five hours a day instead you just invest in a protocol in a team and in a community and when you when you are going to be a part of that community and try to make that community a better place trust me people will follow and they want to make that protocol and community better too so it's all network effects and exponential growth are really the main theme of crypto some people are earning money that they even can't comprehend so yeah the best advice is be a part of the community and sometimes even one frog meme even one Pepe meme is better than like saying I bought this token for well ten thousand uh, dollars this will appreciate too much because yeah that's how I feel about the crypto maybe I'm emotional but um, I think that's how I feel so I just want to let you know besides all of those you know financial mathematical advices the best part is be a part of the community and make some friends along the way so the next video will be about popsicle finance uh, v uniswap v3 optimizer sorbet to fragola because all a lot of people are asking me about how that protocol works so i will make a video about sorbet to fragola in the next video and see you in the next video. Thank you for being here. Goodbye.